So guys, recently I've been really on the hunt for dupes on some of my most favorite niche perfumes and that is how I discovered this brand Kitty J Inspired that impressed me with a selection of fragrances on their website and that you can actually shop by brands. Think about Amouage, Tom Ford, Killian, Mason Francisco de Jong, the list goes on. So I grabbed a few samples and I will be comparing them to the fragrances that they were originally inspired by and that I own myself. So if you're interested in that comparison, make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like this type of content and if you're here for the first time, please subscribe to my channel right now and then we can actually get started. Hello and welcome everyone to this video that I'm so excited about because I've been so into dupes lately, you won't believe it, but I have my OG favorites and some new ones that I adore so much that I want more fragrances in the same style. If you know what I'm talking about, so let me know how you think about these inspired creations. I have nothing against them as long as they claim that they are inspirations, but even some, you know, very well-known brands create fragrances that are clearly inspired by some major hits and don't really say that, but uh, we all can smell it. Anyway, you guys, let's get started. Kitty J Inspired has this insane, insane selection of fragrances on their website, and I first wanted to grab um, inspirations of uh, very inspiring fragrances that I own, one of which is this perfume by Dom Ford that is called Rose Sprig that you remember I bought because of this pretty bottle, but nonetheless I quite enjoy it from time to time. This is a very spicy rose fragrance and the way I want to do it, I will be spraying it on the blotter on one side and uh, the inspiration on the other. By the way, these I have from his Duasi perfumes. And, um, yeah, we'll be comparing them side by side. So here it is, this perfume that uh, is extremely expensive and that opens with citron pepper and turmeric. Then we have a very bold rose accord in there with um, sweet um, patchouli because of the tonka beans in the dry down. If you know it, let me know what do you think. But here we go with the inspiration that is fresher for sure that is more patchouli, but also you get the spicy rose. Just not as much, almost like this hot musk that always disturbs me in the fragrances. That's why I actually have some hard times with the rose freak. So there is not much of that in the inspiration, which is actually nice for me. It is a bit rounder and is not as sharp in the opening as the original rose freak by Tom Ford. They are close but it's not like the exact same fragrance. However, wearing it, I got this beautiful patchouli rose vibe, so it was pleasant. And if you like rose break and you're looking for an alternative that would be more budget-friendly, I would actually recommend you to look into this one. But while we are on the rose topic, let's move on to the Delina exclusive perfume that is loved by many, including myself. This is a beautiful, powdery and um, a little bit fruity, but you know, like still quite dusty rose scent. There is a light sheen there with pear, there is Turkish rose with agar wood, incense and vanilla and to me it smells like a rose powder puff. So let's spray on the clone. Hmm. So once again, a bit fresher. The fruitiness in this one is not as, you know, bright as it is in the original and um, the powderiness is not as heavy. It is once again a bit rounder, you know. It gives you the impression of the Delina exclusive, but it's not like, um, oh, this is definitely the exact same fragrance because there is not, <laughs> sorry, there is not as much bright, you know, like bright and intense energy in there, but they're extremely similar. And what I wanna do is actually ask Benny what he thinks about these fragrances in the dry down because very often 
In the opening, fragrances don't really smell exactly the same when it comes to these inspirations because the top notes are actually what make the fragrances so super catchy that people immediately buy them in the shop. But in the dry down, they can actually uh, smell a bit, bit more um, similar than they do in the opening. So let's uh, have a second opinion. So guys, here is Benny nice. and let's just ask him what he thinks about these two fragrances. Please smell them. Here is one, here is another and just share with us your quick impressions. Okay, so this one, I don't know, I think Galina, yes? Mm -hmm. um, it's sweet, a little bit powdery, clean, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, very feminine in my opinion. It's a feminine perfume, and isn't another it? Another one? Oh, it's, it's more into... It's also clean, it's not that powdery. And it's not that sweet, it's more calm. Uh, I, I would even say it's maybe more a unisex, um, but this one is my opinion definitely feminine. Would you say they are the same? No. Actually, no, I wouldn't say they are the same. No. Okay, here we go. The second opinion. The second opinion. And here we go. Let's just move on to one of my OG favorite summer fragrances, Lyra by Xerja, who remembers this sticky vanilla. I love it. It's like a, a phenomenal caramelized vanillic scent with pop of flat orange in the opening. Because of lavender, it's really aromatic and you can't beat it in the summertime. So the inspired fragrance is shockingly shockingly similar. It's almost like the same. When I smelled this and wore it, most importantly, because I'm very much familiar with my beloved Lyra, I was like, okay, this is almost the same. It's a bit like more lemonish than orangey, but like this pop of citrus in the opening, you still get it and a lot of it. So it's sweet, warm, spicy, caramelized, citrusy vanilla fragrance and I loved it in the heat just as I love my Lyra. But I also love, love, don't be shy by Killian. As you know, this is probably one of my most favorite gourmand fragrances of all times. Yes, it is that good. I recommend you check it out in case you're not familiar with it. I will be spraying on just a little bit on the blotter and I think I missed the <laughs> stripe but um, the glow is actually similar, however, it's not like exactly the same. There is much more bergamot in this one than in the original, where I get more of like this extremely mouth-watery, juicy, sweet cocktail. For me, it's like a sweet cocktail with lots of flowers in there, and they are very... Mm, you know, in the same mood, but one is more niche, more depth, more projection, more sillage as you wear it, you smell it. The inspired one, it's definitely for those who want a very, very similar fragrance to love, don't be shy, but don't wanna splurge, you know, on this uh, performance and, you know, name, then you can actually get something really, really close. And in the dry down, they get even closer to me because in the opening there is much more bergamot in the Kitty J's version. Oh guys, and by the way, before I forget to mention, I actually have a discount code for you with which you can actually save on these already pretty affordable inspirations and it applies on all Kitty J perfumes, so make sure to check it out. Link is gonna be down below. But let's move on to the perfume that is one of my favorites. It's like this absolutely avant-garde, uh, one-of-a-kind fragrance that I feel is an outstander and one of the greatest fragrances of uh, last few years. And I'm talking about, you can guess it, what do you think it is? Metal by Tom Ford, ta-da! Anyway, you guys, when I saw that they have a fragrance inspired by this, I was like, oh, I want to smell it because I don't know many fragrances in this style. Let me know if you do. And wearing their version, I was very much, in, not inspired, reminded of this, you know, a little bit aldehyde, clean and at the same time very powdery, very skin-like, very mellowed and beautiful soapy scent of metallic. So just in case you have metallic and you want something similar or you don't have it and you can't get it, you are looking for 
a budget-friendly alternative, get this one. It's very good. It wears nicely, it projects well, I smelled it on myself uh, at work, so not mad at it. And talking about very close inspirations, because some of these, you know, like are in the same style, but not like 100% similar. Oh my god, when I smelled their take on Tom Ford's, once again, we are in the Tom Ford's house, Black Orchid. I mean, like this has been a bestseller for years and years. I used to hate this perfume. Yes, don't hate me for that, but uh, let me know if you can actually tolerate it, because for me, it's not always the case. And um, it's like this beautiful, almost bitter, earthy, patchouli scent of Elaine Elaine, different flowers, different fruits, and um, sometimes I'm overwhelmed by it. And I was definitely overwhelmed by the Black Orchid um, take by Kitty J, because uh, it's extremely close to the original one, and it's stronger, it's like pushed, it's so insane, it's probably the strongest out of all I've smelled so far from them, and it is mind-blowingly offensive. <laughs> Maybe in a nice way, if you love uh, Tom Ford's Black Orchid and you want more power from it, get this one. It is so insane. I mean, like, you can smell it from the other room. You can smell it from across the street. Wearing this perfume, I was like, oh my god, I'm covered into Black Orchid, you know? <laughs> so, with that being said, while we are talking about Elaine Lang, let's just talk about uh, Achillean's fragrance Voulez Vous Coucher Avec Moi? Please excuse my French. And this is hands down one of the very best perfumes out there. Not only when we are talking about Elaine Lang, but just in general. Sexy, amazing, floral, yes, sweet, yes, creamy, yes, powdery, yes, check, check, check super sex in a bottle. Love this perfume, love how exquisitely sexy it is, you know, not offensively, not aggressively sexy. This is like exquisite seduction in a bottle for me. Love at first sniff. And let's smell the... Oh my god, I actually don't have it. So here it is, and let's just spray it on. And right away, yes, they are like in the same heady floral style, but it could be Voulez-vous coucher avec moi flanker. <laughs> so it's not like the exactly the same fragrance, but 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 it kind of is, you know. It's just like a little bit twisted. It's very very nice. I was actually surprised by how some of these fragrances are almost the same as the original, like, you know, if I smell them on someone else, I would be definitely reminded of some of my favorite fragrances. So, once again, love this one, wanna smell more of their Killian takes, because I love this brand, but it's so damn pricey. I wish I had more of them, but it always takes me forever, you know, to save money for Killian's fragrances. Let me know if you're a fan of this house and what are some of your favorites. And I know that Kitty J Inspired actually has a few fragrances in inspired by Killian, so in case you need an alternative, check those out. Anyway, let's move on to the fragrance that it was one of the first niche perfumes that I've ever purchased myself, and that is Unbeatable Gypsy Water by Burrito. I adore this fresh, powdery, beautifully aromatic fragrance that is amazing, and their take on it is... Mm, I mean, like, it's the, it's similar aromatic sandalwoody fragrance, but it misses a few parts, you know, there is no of this smoky fleur, there is not much of a pepper in here, there is a more of sort of like sandalwoody, woodsy, modern element, so... Yeah, not very vanillic either. It's close to Gypsy Water, but if I needed, you know, like to choose between these, I would probably go for Gypsy Water because actually nothing beats it. And if you know, like, uh, the exact dupe on it, please let me know because I still haven't found any. But, but I was shocked. I did not expect, but I was shocked when I smelled their take on probably, probably. 
I know it's a lot to claim. I know that to choose a favorite vanilla fragrance for me is crazy because it's my favorite note. I love vanilla. I'm in love with it. Any kind of vanilla, give it to me. But I kind of feel I found my perfect type of vanilla and I am really, really dying for Nishani to release sort of like a flanker for their best-selling Annie that you can get from so Avant-Garde Workshop with my discount. Just keep that on your mind. But this vanilla is just like the vanilla. It is spicy, it is green, it is woody, it is sweet, it is floral, it is addictive and I love it and I want more fragrances like it in my collection. I want dupes, I want inspirations, I want whatever close to any, give it to me. And um, when I saw that they actually have like an inspiration for Ani, I was like, please, 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 just, just, just get faster to me. And uh, I wasn't, I mean like, that went straight on me because I've already worn it a couple of times and it is very, 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 very similar to Ani. Maybe sometimes I enjoy it more. I don't know, it just has the note in there that reminds me of my childhood. And it's so good. It's comforting, it's addictive. You know, wearing this one, I have an impression of wearing a knee. And that is kind of, you know, the goal, the mission completed, the goal achieved. Um, if this inspiration gives me the vibe, the feeling of wearing the original one, if you know what I'm talking about. So, Ani, love it. You love Ani, you will love this too. But let's, let's move on, let's move on. We have been on the Elaine, you know, Elaine, 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 yeah, Elaine note, but I kind of moved towards the different direction. Let's get back to the Elaine Elaine. And uh, this perfume, by the initial that is called Psychedelic Love is known for all of you as my big psychedelic love. I have like a top list dedicated to Elaine Elaine fragrances because there is just something about them that I can't resist. It's probably one of my most favorite notes. And um, this perfume is hypnotic to me. I have um, a decant of it that you can get from the brand Uniqlo. I will leave all the helpful links down below in the commentary section. Just check it out. and. Um, I love this fragrance because it's mind-blowingly, you know, mm, intense and uh, hip, hip, hypnotic, yeah. You know, sometimes these yellow floral fragrances are categorized as um, in, not indolic but hypnotic. And I kind of agree, they just have the quality of this mes mesmerization, mesmerizing, it's powdery and because of myrrh it is also a little bit mysterious and uh, it's very interesting that um, Kitty J's take on it is fresher, it is not, you know, as powdery and intense, almost, you know, like black orchid, it is so dense. They are Elaine Links, they are more wearable, surprisingly I enjoy them so much, although they are not like 100% tubes, exact matches, but still, you know, it's so smooth and so fresh and I really, really love it. Yeah, and the vibe is there, you know, wearing it once again, it's like, it's almost like candid Elaine Elaine, so good, really recommend you. It's like almost gourmet, but not really because of the mirror. However, you guys, I want to end this note on the fragrance um, dupe that when I saw this one, I was like, oh my god, I spent a lot of money on Tobacco by Dior. No regrets, no regrets, because you know that this extremely smoked plum scent with honey and uh, spices and this beautiful golden peach is everything to me. I receive compliments for it. I love to wear it. I feel extremely confident with it on, but Hey, if you can get, you know, a cheap alternative, I'm there for it. And you kind of get it with um, Kitty J's fragrance. So this one is a bit, you know, like a bit more tobacco-ish. So it's almost like any Malik, which is definitely interesting. I would say they, they, they are from the same family, but they're not close relatives, if that makes any sense to you. So. In here, I don't get much of peach and citruses that I can actually sense in Tobacco 
as it dries down, I get more of any malic tobacco, not much of plum, just smooth, it's slightly sweet. And nonetheless, it is beautiful, but not quite exactly like tobacco roll. But hey, you guys, with some of these fragrances, it was like, uh, gosh, it's like my favorite fragrance. And with others, it was like, okay, exactly what I wanted. It's similar to the fragrance I, I've been wanting to dupe, but uh, still offers something different. And that might be actually nice because you don't really need like the exact same fragrance. However, if uh, that's what you're looking for, check out KDJ, let me know if you know another brand that dupes some very well-known perfumes, because I'm always open to experience them and check out what do they offer. And if you enjoy watching this video and my comparisons, please give it a huge thumbs up. Just do that because it helps my videos to get out there. And if you want to help me out even more, you can subscribe to my channel right now. Ring that notification bell to get updates when I post something you and shop with my discounts because that's another way to support me as well as donations on the Buy Me Coffee website. Anyway, you guys, if you want me to keep these videos coming in which I compare similar fragrances, just let me know in the commentary section. And if you know, by the way, if you know juice on any of today's mentioned fragrances, just leave me your recommendations in the comment section. I would be really, really grateful for that. And uh, on that note, thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed, have a nice day, and make sure to stay here and smell good because we'll see each other next month really soon. Bye, guys.